Hello and welcome to this Mind Fusion video tutorial where we will use the JavaScript chart library to build a candlestick chart that follows the stock price fluctuations minute by minute. We will use the Alpha Vantage API for reading the data, which provides stock quotes. This service is free of charge. The data is provided by JSON files. We start by creating an empty folder for the project and there we create a subfolder called common. There we place the minified versions of jQuery and jQuery.ui. Next, we create a scripts folder for the rest of the needed scripts, require, config, and the mind fusion scripts, common, charting, and gauges. We create now an HTML file for the chart. Open your preferred text editor and create a simple web page. Let's add a title to our web page. It says Real Time Stock Chart. Then we create an empty JavaScript file that will hold the JS code behind for our chart. We provide the name of this file as data main attribute of the required JS script. Let's create a div element that will hold the canvas needed to render the chart. We set absolute position to the div and place it at 10 points offset from the top. Then we create the canvas element, which is 1,000 points wide and 800 points high. We specify an ID for it. That is important because we will use the ID to access the element later on. Let's move to the JavaScript file now. We initialize the define method where we load the scripts to do namespace mapping. We will need the charting controls, collections, and drawing namescapes. Then we can create the stock chart object. We do this by initializing a new candlestick chart control, which takes as a perimeter the ID of the canvas from the web page. Then we set a title for the chart. and we set the size of the font to 16. Let's see what we've done so far. We open the real-time stock chart web page in the browser, and we see the chart, which is empty for now, but the title is visible. The data for the chart, the stock quotes, come from the Alpha Vantage service, which provides you with a free ID. 
you use the ID to query the Alpha Vantage API and to get the stock quotes that are of interest to you. The data is presented as a JSON file. Here is what the data that we use in the stock chart looks like. We will use the getJSON method from jQuery to parse the file. We check the name of the data objects, that is, time series, one minute. Let's copy that. We create a times variable that will store each stock instances minute by minute. The JSON file contains 100, by the way. We cycled in through all time instances and get the stock info. MindFusion candlestick chart requires stock price objects which take five arguments, the open, close, low, and high stock quotes, as well as the date. We check how the values are named in the JSON file and provide them to the stock price method. Let's create a list to store the stock objects. It is an instance of collections list and we add each data item to it. We create the stock price series that holds the data and presents it to the candlestick chart. The stock price series has a date time format property, which specifies how the time labels at the X axis will be rendered. It's a common scenario that financial charts have timestamps at the horizontal axis and the candlestick chart provides a property to format that label. It is of type date time format. Let's check the online documentation and see the options. We need the date time format enumeration. Short time looks like what we need, so we set it. Then we need an observable collection for the series, and we add our series to it. We assign the collection to the series property of the candlestick chart and call draw. This will force the chart to evaluate all its settings and repaint itself. Let's check the result. 
Yes, here is the stock chart. We have visualized the data. Now we can concentrate on some styling and appearance modifications. First, we increase the candlestick width to 12 and hide the legend with show legend equals false. Then we need to adjust the x-axis. We have a field in stock chart x-axis that exposes the settings for the axis. We set min value to 0, interval to 1, and max value to 40. Example, we don't want to show more than 40 stock quotes at once. Then we specify titles for both the X and Y axis. Let's check the chart. It looks better, but a grid to divide the plot in sections would be good. We set grid type to horizontal and style the grid. Stock chart theme property has a lot of settings for the chart. There you can find the grid color 1 and grid color 2 properties, the grid line color, and grid line style settings. We set the grid colors to white and light gray, respectively, the grid line color to a shade of gray, and specify that the grid lines will be dashed. Let's see the result. Now it's time to style the series. The chart library has a variety of series style classes that facilitate the styling of different charts. In our case, we need candlestick series style. Let's look it up in the online documentation. We see it has properties for the fills, strokes, but let's check the constructor. It takes five arguments for the raising and falling brushes, for the stroke, the dash style, and the renderer that is used to render the chart. I will paste directly a candlestick series style instance with some predefined brushes for our stock chart. Note that as a series renderer, we get the first renderer from the chart plot series renderers collection. Now we can do some more styling for the chart, namely use the theme property to adjust some colors. Let's look at the theme class and check the available options. We can use the Data Labels Brush and Axis Labels Brush properties to customize the brush for the labels at the axis. The Axis Title Brush sets the brush for the title of the axis and Axis Stroke specifies the brush used for drawing the axis. We set them to one brush, which is light gray.
The last brush we customize is the highlight stroke. We set it to a lighter shade of gray. We can add one more adjustment to this sample to make it real time. We add a timer. That will trigger the update stock method each five seconds. Of course, in real example, we would set a bigger interval. We also need to remove the first value in the data list because we've already added the last value to the back of the array. Here you can see how the chart gets updated regularly. Now the labels at the x-axis are very dense. We can make them easier to read if we rotate them. The property is x-axis label rotation angle. The chart looks fine now. And that was for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion Developer Tools.